Hi, it's Hans at ahappierman.com. Today's topic is first steps to being a happier man. Well, you need some baseline steps. Some men aren't even going to know where, where to start. You've, you've kept yourself, you've denied any happiness you've had for, for most of your life. Any, you've been chipped away, your confidence has eroded, your ability to have fun and enjoy yourself is, is very small. You gotta have some first steps, baseline steps. What is some of those first steps? Well, first thing is to get control of your money because you're gonna need money to buy yourself some happiness experiences. The best things in life are not free, far from it. The best things are very expensive. So don't believe that lie. You need, you, you need your money to make some money so you can have some fun because you need your money to have control of your finances so you can have a chance at a good life. Of course, we're told the opposite. <laughs> that money doesn't buy happiness and we're told that the best things in life are free and uh, we're told all kinds of ridiculous things like that, but that's just people trying to get us to part with our money without too much fuss, <laughs> right? So uh, anything you're told over and over with, you, you might have to completely turn around to the opposite. That's how you normally tell what's, what's, what's right is when you think of it in the opposite way. Uh, when you hear the term, the best things in life are free, you'd say, well, no, the best things in life are expensive. It costs a lot of money to have a good life. <laughs> when you say that money is important, you'd say the opposite. It's very important. <laughs> so give, give that some thought. Get control of your money. Uh, when you're married, your money probably isn't, you're not going to have control over it. Your wife is going to take a lot of your money. And there's going to be a lot of spending on non-essential things, keeping up with the Joneses, trying to <clears throat> constantly redoing things around the house that are already fine. And I'm not saying you don't need some comforts. I certainly like comfortable things, comfortable furniture, uh, good beds, clean, clean surroundings, uh, good furnishings, good TVs, music, uh, carpeting, uh, clean floors dishwashers, you know, all of that, washing machines and dryers, yeah, all that's needed, but you really need to replace all that stuff all the time. You always have to have the, the top of the line. When, you, when you're buying a new house, you're pushed to get top of the line everything. Or you're remodeling. I did, you know, bought a bunch of houses and did all that remodeling on them, and it's so expensive. And in the end, it was just really not that much different than what we had. So there's you're spending a lot of money on things you don't need to spend on when you're married. You know, when you're a single man or an escape man, you realize, well, I'd rather have some money to to uh, spend on my experiences and have some fun. Maybe not work quite as hard. You put some away for the future, for the future you. Yeah, you need that. You need the control of your money. Uh, women are... are very, they're very famous for, you know, them taking over your finances when you're married. Even though they don't seem to have a very good grasp on these basic concepts. Some do. Most don't. Uh, but you should be in control of your money. And it's, it's a lot easier to be controlled if you're single or in, in the escape class. Uh, it's a lot of work to maintain an iron grip on your finances when you're when you're married. Uh, most men aren't gonna be able to, to do that. Uh, there's no way you'll, you'll have enough wherewithal and power to be in total control of your finances. Your wife will will control your control most of that and there's not really much you can do about it in today's world. Even if you have a live-in girlfriend, she's going to control a lot of that. There's going to, she's going to be doing a lot of spending of your money. So you got to get control of your finances. And the easiest way is to be single or escaped, meaning divorced, or not with a full-time, not with a live-in girlfriend. Certainly, it's nice having a girlfriend and the companionship and the sex and the man-woman stuff. Uh, that's all good. But in the end, you have your place. She has yours. You don't do any of that mingling of the money. 
mingling of the money with other people it's always 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 a mistake and men will continue to make this mistake uh, but I'm just warning you try to avoid that mistake what else well you want to have some degree of health you know I got a lot of videos on the weight training to me that's a, a good method or the best method for most normal men to maintain their health by being stronger uh, being stronger just helps your whole whole life in, in, in countless ways you look better for one thing you're gonna feel better you're gonna be able to do things for yourself you don't want to have to rely on other people all the time for just simple things um, that's kind of the biggest one uh, I, I I kind of agree with the strength trainers who say this to focus on the strength and not worry so much about the cardio uh, yeah you want to be able to walk around and do some things but it doesn't seem necessary to be able to have to run long distances uh, most people uh, are, are, are not going to be built for running long distances it, it's just a very 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 small percentage of the population are are going to excel at that and certainly if you are then you should do that and do what makes you happy but for most men running that isn't going to make you happy it's not going to make you happy like the lifting will lifting at a at a moderate uh, pace not excessive certainly if you go excessive excessive lifting you're not going to be happy because you will get hurt you will get run down you will get sick and you will get tired of it and you will lose all the benefits you, you need to do things do that at a moderate uh, pace the one heavy set i got a bunch of videos on on lifting and its benefits and some uh, my ideas on it especially for older men or aging men or, or normal men i lifted it too much when i was a younger man uh yeah, i was trying to lift use those routines and it was too much for my health i was getting hurt at a pretty good rate back in late teenager early 20s lifting too much i'd have some pretty frightful injuries of course i was young and i'd recover from them fairly rapidly and then get back into the gym but i was trying to lift you know four or five six times a week and in spite of doing that i never got in you know that bodybuilding shape that they all promised we would get by lifting all that much all i would get was hurt and beat and sore and not have time for other things so lifting at a, at a modest amount one two three days a week that's that's about that's about the amount that most men can handle you know you're working a 40 hour or more a week job uh, it takes time to get to and from work there's all the chores around the house uh, you're probably going to want to have some fun on the weekends you're going to want to uh, be with a woman that takes a lot of time you see what I mean there's not a lot of time in a day to do everything time in a week time in a month you gotta you gotta limit some of those things to a modest amount just to get the the benefit of them what else for your health well you gotta take care of your teeth right go to the dentist brush them and do all that stuff that's important uh, I didn't do that so much as a kid I for some reason I had a hang-up about it you know I brushed them but I didn't go overboard and uh, I don't know the last seven eight five six seven years I've been taking much better care of my teeth and going through a whole routine and we'll get into that at some point doctoring well if you're aging you probably have to go to the doctor more I've had a string of things I've been to the doctor I've got a few I don't have anything serious you don't know no, nothing serious needing medication I don't have a daily medication for example but you know when things come up you got to get to the doctor take care of yourself of course a lot of men don't right they even if they don't feel well they don't go to the doctor and they can't really if there's no explanation for why you don't feel well well then you better get to the doctor and get some professional uh, advice on this you know, that's because of course you hear about the people getting cancer and they catch it too late you know because they're so stubborn they won't go to the doctor or they're afraid of the cost doctors cost a lot of money you probably have poor health insurance or you probably spend a lot of money on health insurance on health related things for your wife and kids and you don't want to do it for yourself 
You know, that's kind of what most young men with a young family do. Their wife and their kids are going to the doctor all the time. He's got massive co-pays and massive payments for prescriptions. And you're not going to go to the doctor, right? You're already spending hundreds of extra dollars a month in addition to your health insurance co-pays, uh, uh, premiums. And you got all the co-pays and your wife is running to the kids for the doctor for every little thing. So you're not certainly not going to go to the doctor when you're a younger man with younger kids. But, you know, as you age, you might have to do that. You might have to do stuff like that. Yeah, take care of yourself. Eat, eat well. You should be eating more meat and protein as a man. Less and less carbs. Probably the more you cut carbs and sugar, sugars out of your diet, the, the healthier you're going to be. You can somehow get your belly a little flatter not carry so much weight you're going to be you're going to be healthier you're going to feel better and the other thing is you should just be taking care of yourself generally in a well in a well manner get plenty of rest sleep a lot sleep sleep as much as you need and then maybe sleep a little more don't be afraid to take naps when you need it uh, figure out a way to take naps more often figure out a way to get get more sleep when I was married I didn't get enough sleep oh man that was a rough time for for sleep uh, I'd be, have to be at work at seven I'd get up at maybe quarter after six take 15 minutes to get ready for work rush like a fiend uh, and then run to work leave at 6 30 be to work at seven for years I did that years now I don't do that I get up at a get up early and have a leisurely morning, a relaxing morning doing things I like to do, mostly sitting on the computer and doing stuff, uh, reading, watching videos, maybe doing my own, working on my own website and things and videos like this. But that's relaxing to me. I like to do that. I like to get up early to do that. And then I like to go to bed early, so getting up early isn't a chore. If you go to bed early all the time, getting up early won't be difficult as long as you're getting your eight hours of sleep a night. People who say they need less sleep, you know, I just don't know if I trust them. I think they're probably fooling themselves. They're probably uh, acting irrationally. I mean, I know Trump, President Trump, he talks about he doesn't sleep that much. Well, <laughs> you know, probably, probably part of his problem for being a little bit irrational at times is... Uh, He's not sleeping enough. Maybe if he would uh, spend a few months uh, getting some proper rest, he, he could calm down a little bit. Right? But anyway, getting back to me, when I was married, yeah, I have to get up at 6.15, usually go to bed about 1, 12, 1. That doesn't equate to 8 hours. Uh, usually there'd be like all this work to do around the house at night. Kind of worthless worthless things to do, you know, remodeling or cleaning or reworking the storage system. Yeah, I didn't take care of myself well. It really wasn't my fault because that was my wife's doing and she would make my life just pure misery uh, if I didn't do that. So, you know, being alone, being living on your own is the easiest way to take care of your health. So that's it. Give those ideas some thought.